Hi there, my name is Scott McDonald, and today I'm going to teach you and two of your friends how to juggle on tramp wall. Before learning this, everyone involved should be comfortable dropping in from both front support and standing, running the wall to full squat, and bailing out to the top of the ledge at a moment's notice. You should also be familiar with basic desync and pre-sync. Just like with those, communicating with your partners is the key to safe juggling, so before you do anything, get together as a group and confirm exactly how many bounces are going to be done. If you've never played with partner work on tramp wall before, I recommend checking out my desync tutorial before you try juggling. As always, I recommend everyone wears wrestling shoes for the sake of grip. Let's get started. So, what is tramp wall juggling and how does it work? Simply put, three people move around the tramp wall in a pattern that looks like three balls being juggled, specifically like a bounce juggling cascade. It's a big crowd pleaser and a staple of tramp wall acts all over the world. Even though it may look like there's a lot going on, juggling is actually very straightforward. You can juggle from support or from standing. Most people learn from support first, but neither technique is inherently harder or better than the other, so start with whichever feels most comfortable for your group. If you're juggling from support, you're going to use both your hands and feet to push yourself across the wall, and if you go from standing, you can just jump and push with your feet while keeping your back towards the trampoline. There are three start positions on the wall, with one person in the center and the other two partners on either side. The center person always drops in first. Once they do, only the side positions get used until the very last bounce, which can exit to any available spot on top of the ledge. If you focus on just one of us at a time, you'll notice that all each person is doing is dropping in diagonally to the outside of the box, returning vertically to one of the side positions, and then repeating the same motion in reverse. Every time someone hits the trampoline, they'll be directly beneath the starting position of one of their partners. To avoid collisions, that other partner needs to already be getting out of the way by pushing across the wall to drop in. You should time your drop-ins by watching your partners. You'll always be dropping over the same partner and under the other one. When you're in your start position, wait for the partner who goes before you to begin dropping in. As soon as they disappear from view beneath and behind you, start pushing yourself across the wall. As you do, your other partner will be waiting to drop in over you, so make sure you're not going too far in and bumping into them. As you land on your back, spot where you're going to kick to on the wall, and as you approach the top, start looking for your partners again to repeat the cycle in the opposite direction. Now that you understand tramp wall juggling, let's break it down into a few simple drills. Start by standing on the frame one at a time and practicing lateral jumps to vertical returns, getting them consistent in each direction. Next, try the first two drop and returns using only two people. Once that's easy, it's time to try with all three people. When three people doing one bounce each feels good, start adding bounces one at a time. The first person will take a second bounce the first time around for a total of four, then on the next round, the second person can add a bounce for the total of five. Then once the third person adds a bounce, you'll have done six total bounces, which is two rounds of juggling. As these bounces get added, if you're not dropping back in, don't linger in the way of someone who is. Move out of the way so everyone stays safe. Juggling from the frame feels less threatening, but also much faster and more awkward than doing it from the top, so once the general placement and rhythm makes sense, head up to the ledge. Up here you're going to repeat all the same steps, training the jump and returns first individually, then with two people, eventually with three, adding one bounce at a time. You also might find it more comfortable to have the same person start every time, but as you get more experience, it's a good idea to have all three people learn each position. Once you and your friends have gone through all these steps and you can comfortably do a few rounds, congratulations, you're officially juggling on tramp wall.
let's take a look at some common juggling mistakes and how to either fix them or just avoid them outright. As a general rule, if something goes wrong or feels off, the safest thing you can do is call out and bail to the top of the ledge. Out! Once you do, make sure you get out of the way in case someone else needs to exit behind you. It's also crucial to stick to the correct amount of bounces and the order in which they happen. If someone drops back in when they're not supposed to, there's a good chance someone else is directly behind them coming up, and both people run the risk of major injury. If there's any confusion about the order, two people might drop in at the same time, which will lead to someone getting launched and potentially ejected from the trampoline, or landing on one of their partners. Be absolutely clear about who starts, who goes next, and how many times each person is going to hit the trampoline. Double bouncing and collisions can also be caused by the rhythm getting uneven. This tends to happen if anyone hesitates or rushes their drop-ins. Make sure that you're dropping in by traveling diagonally and then returning vertically, not the other way around. Dropping vertically and trying to return diagonally doesn't really work, and you're going to crash into your partners. Be careful not to get too narrow or wide with your juggling. If your juggling looks or feels as claustrophobic as this, you're too close to your partners and sooner or later you're going to crash. If you go too wide, you're going to waste time and energy traveling back towards the middle before each drop, and you risk getting a weird bounce by landing close to the springs. Lastly, be wary of traveling too far inwards along the top of the wall before dropping in. It's okay to shove yourself sideways as you start dropping, but don't take a bunch of steps inward with your feet or your hands. Once you have the standard three-person juggling pattern down, you could theoretically try other ball juggling patterns on tramp wall, but most of that remains unexplored territory for the time being. There's a lot of cool possibilities out there, so if you come up with something new, please tag me, I would love to see it. Until then, I hope this video gave you everything you need to learn tramp wall juggling, but if you have any questions, just let me know in the comments below. As always, please like, share, and subscribe to keep up to date with new videos. Message me on Instagram at Scott A. McDonald if you're interested in coaching. And until next time, good luck, happy training, bye.